Hello there, welcome to this short tutorial on Software and Cargo version 1.6 on how to use the doors and the different door modes that it supports. So right now we're in the Airbus A320, uh, we don't have any doors open, if you look at the, the EFB, close, 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 closed, there's no jetway attached, we're, we're completely closed up. And if we go to the cabin layout view, you can see that each of the doors on the aircraft layout are currently in an orange state, which basically means they're closed, but they're not armed, they're in a disarmed state. Now, self and Cargo supports, it. well, it actually runs its own simulation of the doors, but it is capable of communicating with the simulator to determine whether the door is open or closed within the simulator. That is provided the aircraft supports that. Now, there were some issues with uh, self and Cargo version 1.55, when Microsoft Flight Simulator first came out because self and Cargo uses FSUIPC to communicate with the simulator and is therefore reliant on the data coming out of it. Now in previous simulator versions um, FSUIPC had the capability of sending information to the simulator to tell the simulator that a door should be open or that a door should be closed. In Microsoft Flight Simulator it doesn't. It only has the ability to read the state of the door, not change the state of the door. So there was a little point of contention within the previous version of self and Cargo where it was sometimes impossible to, ha to board passengers because obviously the doors were always closed and you can't board through a door un unless it's open. So what I've done in version 1.6 is I've completely separated the, uh, the simulation of the doors if I go to the door management window, you can see that the uh, the doors on here, the orange ones, they actually correspond to the ones on the layout that are available. And right now, they are not synchronized with the simulator. The button is in red. Which basically means that self and Cargo is running its own simulation of the doors completely separate to the simulator. So if I was to, I don't know, for instance, if I, if I open the door of the aircraft, Maybe we can see it from here, if it opens. You can see the door has opened there, but nothing has, nothing has changed on the actual simulator itself. And if I close it, you see the door closed, again, nothing happened, because it's completely independent from the simulator. However, if I change the mode, which are these three buttons here, if I change the mode to manual, and I click on door zero, you'll see that one of the members of the cabin crew heads towards the door and they're going to actually open it and soon you'll be able to hear the uh, the APU running because the door in self learning cargo is now open and again if I close it the cabin crew member will head towards the door and close it so what that means is regardless of what the aircraft in the simulator is doing you will always have some level of control over the doors so that you can use self loading cargo with any aircraft whether it supports the information uh, that FSUIPC requires about the status of the doors. self and Cargo is running its own simulation of the doors regardless. And basically, um, following the kind of philosophy behind self and Cargo, I'm trying to simulate everything, and if we can hook it into the simulator, then great. If not, then self and Cargo will try to take care of it and simulate it by itself. But obviously it's nice to have the, uh, the simulator and the doors connected, and luckily with this aircraft it actually uh, it does support it so if I click on synchronize with simulator nothing's going to change except the buttons here are now unavailable because the simulator is in control of it and what will happen now is if I tell the EFB to open a door you'll see the door has actually opened on the 3D model and that's triggered self and cargo to send the cabin crew member to open the door And similarly, if I close it again, the cabin crew member also closed the door. And the same thing goes for the jetway. If I connect the jetway, you can see the jetway coming across. And once it connects, it will tell self and cargo that that door needs to be opened. I hope it's not going to connect to our window. There we go. 
So what's happened there is the simulator has connected the jetway to the aircraft. It's then told the aircraft that that door needs to be opened. And then FSUIPC has received the information and then sent it to self-loading cargo, which then opens the, uh, opens the door. If I toggle the jetway away, again, the command will be received that the door's closed and a cabin crew member will head to that door to close it within self-loading cargo. And because we're closed up now, I can ask the cabin crew what's going on and she'll give me a context sensitive uh, announcement, basically telling me what they're waiting for. So I'm going to summon the cabin crew. She's going to make her way to the intercom. Hi, Captain. How are things in the back? We're ready to go. We'll be securing the passengers once we start to taxi. Thanks a lot. Okay, but if I connect the jetway again... Is it coming? Here it comes. If I connect the jetway again... She'll tell us that they're waiting for the jetway to be disconnected. Right, so now that the door's open, if I ask the same question... Hello, Captain. How's it going? We're ready to go. Once the jetway is removed and we've started the taxi, we'll get on with securing the cabin. Excellent. I'll instruct ground that we're ready to remove the jetway, and you can go ahead and close the doors. No problem. So they're basically waiting for me to uh, to close the jetway. However, with that door open, I'm able to disconnect it from the uh, disconnect uh, self loading cargo from the simulator, and that will put the crew in control of the doors. And because she's waiting, he's probably going to come to the intercom now to tell me that they're waiting to close up. And you'll notice the commands are different. And what she's done is she's made an announcement telling the crew that they're ready to close and she's going to take care of closing that door automatically. So because I desynced it from the simulator, she's automatically put it into a mode that uh, assumes that the simulator sort of doesn't exist. And even though the door in the simulator itself is still open and the jetway is connected. self loading cargo doesn't know anything about it. However, if I resync it, it detects that the jetway is connected and, she, and, and a cabin crew member is going to be sent to the door to put it back into sync. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to toggle the jetway away. And then I'm going to desynchronize the simulator. Now in cabin crew command mode, nothing's going to happen because the doors are already closed. So she won't make an announcement telling anyone to close up. I'm going to put it in the manual mode. And then I'm going to open the door myself. I'm going to have control over the doors. But again, you'll notice that nothing happens in the simulator. It's all controlled by self loading cargo. The cabin crew members going towards the door to open it. And if I ask the cabin crew what, what's going on, he's going to tell me that I need to close the door. Because she knows that I'm in manual control of the doors. Where is she? Now she's going to the rear intercom this time. Hi, 
Hi. How are things in the back? Once the doors are closed, we're all set to go. Everyone's on board and ready. It's see she said a different word. Uh, she, sorry, a different phrase saying once the doors are closed, implying that I've got to close them. Uh, we're all set to go. Everyone's on board and ready. So my command has now changed from I'll I'll ask for the jetway to be removed to OK, I'll close the doors. OK, great. I'll close the doors and we can get going. No problem. But the, you can see the context of the conversations are based around which mode you're in and what's actually connected to the uh, to the uh, to the aircraft. Now the thing is I can either close it manually or I can just synchronize it with the simulator and because nothing's connected to it it's automatically going to close the door. The nearest crew member always goes to the door that needs to be closed. And that's it. So you might be wondering well how do I know which mode I need to be in at any time and how do I quickly change it without this uh, sort of the faff around of having a window. Um, well basically if you were to approach the gate after a flight and there was no jetway and you in jetway mode, all you need to do is middle click the uh, the button and it changes. It changes to manual mode and then if you middle click it again sorry, it changes to this mode here the cabin crew mode because the automation icon uh, the automation light is on. If you right click it it turns it off and put in, it puts it into manual mode. If you right click it again it puts it into automatic mode managed by the cabin. If you middle click again it goes to synchronize with the simulator. So if you're, for instance, approaching the gate and there's no jetway, just middle click it. The cabin crew will take care of the doors. If you want to do it manually, right click it to turn it into manual mode. If you want the crew to take control, right click it again and uh, they'll take care of it. However, if you are in manual mode and you're approaching the gate and there is a jetway, you simply middle click the button and turn it into jetway mode. And once you get there, you can connect the jetway up to the, uh, to the aircraft and self-loaded cargo will automatically yeah, open the doors for you when the jetway connects. So, once again, that is all documented in the manual, but I just wanted to give you sort of a brief uh, sort of uh, tutorial video explaining it um, as it happens, rather than it being in written form. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you.